Hello, it's Ace Combat Fan here, and it's time to do a breakdown of the different editions of Ace Combat 7 because we have the base game, the pre order bonuses, the deluxe edition, and the collector's edition. It gets complicated, there's a lot of stuff actually. So, in this video, I'll try to explain what package comes with what, so, give some of my thoughts on each package. And, la and just as a disclaimer, I'm not going to talk about price because many of my subscribers don't live in the US. Different countries have different currencies, different prices, and ultimately, at the end of the day, it's your choice if you think it's worth or not to buy that edition and, and so on. So anyways, let's start with the base game. With the base game, which is available on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, on January the 18th, 2019, and on Steam on February 1st, 2019. I know, it's like two weeks after. I disagree. I don't know why they do that. I feel bad for PC, the PC players, but that's that's what Bandai is doing. But if you get the standard edition, there is the one-day uh, edition. So basically, if you kind of pre-order or buy the first day or so, you can get the F-104C Avril. This is a special version of the f 104 which is already available in the game. Now, they say that the story behind this aircraft is that Avro was fixing this aircraft for about eight years. And surprisingly, they say this aircraft cannot be armed, so you cannot load missiles and gun ammunition on it. So it's basically just a free flight only aircraft, which to me is rather disappointing. Why, why would you add a new plane that, that's just available on free flight? I, I, I don't get it. And that's available in all the three platforms, so PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Steam. Now let's talk about the pre-order. I'll start first with everything available on the three editions, and then go to the one specific to your platform. So available in the three platforms, we have a playable F4E Phantom 2. I'm not a fan of the Phantom, but hey, one extra plane. It's good. And also they did the same thing for Assault Horizon, the pre-order get the F4. Yes, okay, fine. Now, more exciting is the Sukhoi 37 Yellow 13 skin from Ace Combat 4. You also get the F-14D Rosgris skin. Mind you, that in Ace Combat 5, the cannon was the F-14A, but since we don't have the A in Ace Combat 7, we get the 14D. And lastly, we get the F-15C Pixie skin from Ace Combat 0, so you can remove your borders anytime, anywhere. Now that's available in all the editions, all the platforms, and you also get the F-104 C Avery, okay? Like, it's cumulative, okay? Now let's talk specifically about some of the platforms. Xbox One, if you do the pre-order, you get Ace Combat 6 Fires of Liberation, which was from the Xbox 360, backwards compatible on your Xbox One. So basically, you do the pre-order, you get Ace Combat 7 and Ace Combat 6, which I think it's awesome. Especially if you're a new player and you haven't played Ace Combat 6, this is a really good deal. It's two games for the price of one. And Ace Combat 6 is good. It's not that good, but it's good. If you know what I mean. And you get some more lore material to work with. So, awesome. I, I think that was awesome. If you are on the PlayStation 4, the deal is even better. First, you get Ace Combat 5, The Unsung War, together. So, two games for the price of one. And some people have thought it was a remaster of the game that we've been waiting for like so many years. It's not, it's just a port. So basically that means the graphics are gonna be a little bit better than in the PlayStation 2 because, well, hardware's better, obviously. But don't expect too much of a change, okay? So it's basically just a port. Besides that, if you pre-order on the PlayStation, from the PlayStation Store actually, you get a dynamic theme for your PlayStation 4. I actually already did my purchase, already downloaded the theme. You can check it out in this video right here. See how it looks. It's not that fancy. The theme moves a little bit and, and then there's some music. It's not that fancy, but it's it's something nice. But then again, you have to do the download on the PlayStation Store. Don't pre-order somewhere else because you're not going to get it. But unfortunately though, for Steam, you don't get a game together with it. So the games are only for PlayStation 4 and Xbox. Sad. Now let's talk about the Deluxe Edition, which is available in the three platforms. And it, it, the bonuses are the same for the three platforms, okay? So in the Deluxe Edition, you get eight emblems, which are actually four, 
One is the regular version, one is the low visibility version or the stealthy version, which are the Aquila emblem from Ace Combat 4 or the Yellow Squadron emblem, in case you don't know, the War Dog emblem from Ace Combat 5, the Garuda emblem from Ace Combat 6, and the Griffiths emblem from Ace Combat X. Then again, you get the regular emblem and the low visibility emblem, as you, as you can see there. Included in the Deluxe Edition, you also get a Season Pass. Now, this Season Pass has the following. It includes three original aircraft of the Ace Combat series. So it means it's, a, it's original design from the other games. Now, we don't know yet, specifically, what these three planes are gonna be. Maybe it's the X-2, maybe it's the Falcon, the Morgan, the Nosferatu, or another design. We don't know yet. But I think, I think this, is, this is a good opportunity for Progress to bring back those other planes from the past games. Because, let's be honest, the fans, we love them. In addition to the season pass, we get three missions. Now, they haven't been specific on that either. We don't know these three missions. It's probably going to be like a side story mission. Not very important to the story per se. Or maybe just an arcade challenge mission. We don't know yet missions and lastly this season pass it you can get access to the music player so basically you have to pay to get access to the music player in Ace Combat 7 this is something I strongly disagree with I totally did not like that because in previous games you could go to the menu play the music there and if you know Ace Combat the musics are very important it's like one of the core pillars of the game I I did not like this idea of monetizing the musics, which are already in the game. So Bandai, I don't understand why you did this. I guess the money... You, I disagree. I didn't like. And I hope I, we can still change the audio in the game. The mix, so like the music, the radio chatter, and the sound effects. If not, I'm going to be very disappointed and angry. And you can also combine the Deluxe Edition with the Pre-Order Edition if you pre-order the Deluxe Edition, so you get everything. But that is that. But wait! There is more. We still have to talk about the Collector's Edition, which, in a way, it's awesome. In another way, it's very sad. Why is it awesome? Because you get a Collector's Box, physical, you can touch Whatever we said before, it wasn't tangible, you couldn't touch it, but now you could take a touch. So the collector's box, we also get a steel book, again, touchable, tangible, not edible, but it makes me happy. We also get Aces at War, A History, which is basically a book that talks about the events that take, in, that take place in Stranger, which is the Ace Combat universe. Very nice. We also get... Six stickers of some classic emblems of the Ace Combat series, which are the Mobius emblem, the Aquila emblem, or the Yellow Squadron emblem, the Gong, the Ross Grease, Garuda, and so. So these are the stickers that come with. Again, it's tangible. It's 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 touchable. You can use it in your life. And lastly, you get the triggered embroidered patch. So you can put it on your flight suit, which I'm. I don't know why I'm not wearing it right now, but you can do that or your regular clothing. And that's awesome. It's awesome. It's the thing we've been waiting for. But here is the problem. First, it's only available in Japan. Japan, as always, they get the best stuff. Like when you remember Salt Horizon, the Japanese edition, it, it, it came with a jacket. And even a Stonehenge made of a cardboard parts that it could build. Why we don't get this out in, in the United States, in Canada, or outside of Japan? Why? Why Bandai? Think about it. Most of the Ace Combat fans live outside of Japan. Come on, don't discriminate us, please. And also, this collector's edition is only available on the PlayStation 4 version. Because Japan likes PlayStation. It's how they do it there. But, if you are interested in this edition, I'm looking for ways to get maybe get a discount and have it shipped. So if you live outside of Japan... Stay tuned to my channel. I'll try to find a way, and as soon as I do, I'll get. I try to get a good deal, and I'll let you guys. I'll let you guys know. So this are the different editions. I hope you guys have understood what I said. It, it, this is a lot of stuff. It gets really confusing. 
I'll put some extra information in the description, such as places where you can buy them. And personally, I'm gonna be buying the Deluxe Edition digitally for the PlayStation 4. I'll try to get my hands on the Collector's Edition and also buy the Steam Edition because I want to play together with you guys on both the PlayStation and the Steam. Now, overall, my, my thoughts is that I'm very disappointed about the, the Steam Edition. I kind of understand that they couldn't put another game and tie in like the Ace Combat 5 or Ace Combat 6 because they have to convert the game to PC. I understand. But then you get the game like two weeks after, which is horrible. I, I don't know why. But anyways, if you still don't understand what I said, check the image in the description made by Sly Cooper Fan. It's basically a table summarizing. It's basically this table here, but summarizing all the things that you get. But anyways, hope you guys have enjoyed. Stay tuned to the channel because I'll try to get information on that collector's edition. Pass it on to you guys. So if you're interested, you can get it. And leave your comments. Let me know which edition you're going to get. You can vote here just so I get some feedback. I have an idea. You can also vote on the platform you're going to get. So we have an idea. So anyways, these are the different editions of Ace Combat 7, Skies Unknown. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, share, tell your friends. It's time. And see you guys next time.